Can you uh, move your stinky toy, please? Can you move your stinky toy? I know, honey, I'm sitting on the floor and you're just so excited for that. So excited for that. Love you so much. I'm gonna take your toy away from you. Okay, give it to me. Give it to me. Sorry. No. <laughs> give me that toy. No squeaking. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my very first declutter video and I am so excited for it. You guys have no idea. I have been, okay, Lily is in here. We'll see how long this lasts. She's kind of driving me crazy. Um, I forgot what I was just saying. Oh my God, um, scatterbrained already. I have been trying to like withhold decluttering because I have wanted to declutter my collection now for a good couple of months, but I really wanted to film it this time. I'm really bad at filming this process. Usually I get these urges and I just like declutter on the spot. Um, but I know that you guys really like to watch these videos. I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram, like, did you want to see a declutter? Are you decluttered out? Because so many people are doing it. And pretty much everybody was like, yes, yes, please declutter. Show us on camera. So anyways, needless to say, I have been anticipating this and I'm super excited. So we're going to start out with primers. And holy moly, I had way more primers. Lily, stop it. <laughs> I had way more primers in my collection than I ever could have imagined. I was pulling these out and quite frankly, I'm a little bit ashamed. Oh, this is definitely not a primer. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with primers. I figured I'd go in the order in which I do my makeup, kind of, sort of. So yeah, let's just hop in. I don't want these videos to be too long, but I have a feeling they're going to end up being kind of, sort of long. So here's all the primers that I own. I have eye primers and face primers in here. Lillian, you're going to get kicked out soon. Stop scratching the blanket, honey. Um... I actually do not have very many eye primers, mostly because I already know what eye primers I like and I use the same ones over and over and over again. So this is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I have a backup right here. This is actually in my 13 by Halloween, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. And it's a holy grail, so I have a backup. So I'm definitely going to be keeping those. I have this Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I've had this for a long time. I'm actually kind of curious if it's even... Yeah, it's still good. Oh, it kind of smells like a crayon. <sighs> I'm going to keep it just in case. Um, <laughs> this whole declutter thing is going to be really, really hard for me, you guys. And I guess I should have clarified up front, I'm going to do three different categories. So I'm going to do one as my keep category, another category as my um, like donate or giveaway category, and then I'm also going to sell a lot of these things on Poshmark. So I'm going to wait. I might do it in like two spurts because I have a feeling that these declutter videos are going to take me a couple of months because I'm filming each individual thing. So I just... I don't know how long it's going to take me, so I think I'm either going to wait until the end and do a big Poshmark sale at the end, or maybe I'll do one in the middle and one at the end. I'm not really too sure yet how I want to do it, but basically, if it's a product that I've purchased myself with my own money, um, I'm definitely going to try to sell it because I want to try to recoup my money back. Now, if it's something that I received via PR, um, Lillian, stop it, honey. Now, if it's something that I received via PR, I will donate it or give it away just because, you know, you can't sell those things. So, yeah, so those are going to be my three categories, keep, give away, or sell. So, with that being said, I'm going to keep this as well. I hope my camera is focusing okay. So, this is my Too Faced Glitter Glue. This I've also had for a while, but I don't use it very often. Ooh, is it actually clogged? Oh, no, there we go. This is an eyeshadow base for glitter, and it's super duper sticky, and I only have the one, so I'm going to keep this. Oh man, I always forget how sticky that is. Yeah, definitely need to keep that. Okay, we are off to a rough start. I am keeping all my eyeshadow primers. Okay, so for face primers, I actually have these two things here that aren't really primers. They're more of like 
oils, I would say, or like mix them in with your foundation type things. This one is the Cover FX Custom Infusion Drop with Jasmine. This is actually almost gone, and I used to mix this in with my foundations all the time, and I just kind of stopped mixing it in with my foundations. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. It's old. It's actually probably expired. You can see the lid is all squishy, so I'm going to get rid of that. This one is the Cover FX Custom Blot Oil Control Drops. I kind of forgot that I had these, to be totally honest. I pulled these out of my drawer and I was like, oh, I forgot about you. I don't use these like I thought I would. It's such a cool concept, and in fact, it's kind of like coagulated in the bottle. It's more like a jelly texture now, so I think I'm going to get rid of these also. They might have gone bad. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of those too. These two products are very, very similar. I've received both of these in PR. I actually don't purchase products like this because I know that I won't really use them. So this one is the Amazing Cosmetics Illuminate Primer Highlighter. It's like something you mix in with your foundation to give you like an all-over glow type thing. And then this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glow. It, they're basically the same type of product and I haven't used either of these so I'm gonna go ahead and put I can actually probably throw some of these in giveaways if I haven't used them like I haven't used either of these but this is gonna go in my like giveaway donate pile on the same line of kind of like glowy illuminating primers this is the Becca backlit primer I bought this a while ago used it a couple of times and really never picked it up again I have oily skin, so, well, it's kind of like more like oily combo now, but the whole like illuminating mix-in thing just doesn't necessarily appeal to me because I already have such glowy skin to begin with, so I, but I'd like to keep one as an option, so I think I'm going to keep this. I just need to make more of an effort to remember to use it. I always forget to use it. It is really pretty. It might be nice to mix in like if I go to the beach or something, so I'm going to keep that one. I have a whole bunch of these Hourglass Veil Mineral Primers. This is one of my favorite, favorite primers. This is just like, I think I got this at Gen Beauty. And then these were 100 Point Perks at Sephora. I think I'm going to keep these simply because I know I will use them. They're not going to go to waste. They're not going to go bad. It's one of my favorite primers. I know I have a lot of them, but these are little baby travel sample sizes. These are actually pretty close to being gone. So I'm definitely going to keep all of those. This is an under eye primer, and I bought this at the recommendation of Makeup by Tiffany D because she was like raving about it in one of her videos, and then she never used it again in any of her videos. So I don't know like if that was a sponsored video or what, but I bought it because she was like, oh my god, it's the best thing ever. And I really haven't used it very much. The concept is like you're supposed to put it under your eyes like to prime before concealer. It's a really cool concept. I just never use it. It is really super soft. It's almost like a cream to powder formula. I'm going to keep this and make an attempt to try and use it more frequently just because... I don't know, I need to give it a shot. I have a bunch of smoothing primers, so this is a skin smoothing primer, this is a skin smoothing primer, um, this is a pore filling primer, pore filling primer, pore filling primer, this is a mattifying primer, so I'll keep that to the side, pore filling primer, um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Ah, I bought this and I never opened it. So this is supposed to be for, like, to moisturize your skin. Plumps and moisturizes with hyaluronic acid. I kind of feel like these two products are very, very similar. This is a Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So this is the same thing, like, it's supposed to be hydrating and whatever. I don't know that I need both of them. I, ugh, I don't know. I bought this because I really wanted to try it and I just haven't, let me see. You know what, oh God, I don't need all these primers though. I 
think I'm going to... I'm definitely going to keep the Bobbi Brown one because for one, it's really expensive and I haven't really used it much. So I'm keeping the Bobbi Brown one for sure. Ah, this one says replace your moisturizer. I'm going to keep, God, I'm keeping everything. I'm going to keep that one. Okay, when we talk about oil control... I probably should use oil control. I mean, the Hourglass one is pretty much an oil control. The Hourglass one is supposed to, like, it just makes my skin feel so good. So it says that it conce uh, conceals redness, minimizes the appearance of pores, softens the look of fine lines and wrinkles. I feel like it's oil controlling as well. So, God. So I have these two. I have the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and the Mattifying Base. This is almost like a glue stick. Like, I bought this to use on my wedding day, and I actually didn't end up using it. But its purpose is, like, to control your oil, and it's so thick. Oh, God. Okay, there's that one. And then the Too Faced Primed and Peachy. Okay, I, I don't use the Primed and Peachy as much as I thought I was going to. So this one, I think I'm going to donate. Mm. I don't want to get rid of anything. I just want to keep it all. <sighs> okay, I am going to get rid of the Too Faced one. I'm going to keep this one. I don't, I actually have never once in my life used this one. But... <clears throat> I don't know. This is so hard, you guys. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'll keep that one for now. Um, as far as smoothing primers go, so I have these two smoothing primers. One of them is Estee Lauder. One of them is CoverGirl. They're pretty much the exact same type of product. Um, I've been trying to use the Estee Lauder one, and I just, I just don't think I like it. Like, it's just... It's almost too slippery of a feeling. The CoverGirl one I've used a couple of times, but not enough to decide if I like it or not. So I think I'm going to keep the CoverGirl one and get rid of the Estee Lauder one. As far as pore filling primers go, this is actually in my 13 by Halloween. It's the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum, so I definitely want to keep this one. It's actually almost gone, so... Keeping that one, then I have the Benefit Pore Professional and the CoverGirl Pore Minimizer. I might... Mm, I'm going to get rid of the CoverGirl one and then keep the Benefit Pore Professional one. And then this is the Tarte um, Smoothing Primer. I actually just purchased this not too long ago. I've used it a couple of times, but I put it back in the box just because I think it's prettier. I'll take it out of the box right now. Um, so I'm going to keep this one because I literally just bought it. I, you know, I keep looking at this. I don't think I'm ever going to use this. So maybe I'll put this in a giveaway since I haven't used it yet and it's still in the box. So there's that. And then the last one that I have is the Guerlain Laor. I have a brand new one in the box that I received via PR. And then I have the Guerlain... Oh, of course I just said that. Oh my god. My brain is going crazy because I'm like... I don't know. Um... And then I have one right here that's almost gone. So this is in my 13 by Halloween as well. So I'm definitely going to keep that. I think I am going to keep the one that I received via PR as well. Just because I do really enjoy this primer. Um, I used it a couple of times actually. It's so funny because I got this in PR and I was like, oh my god, I remember loving that. Used it a few times and then I found my old one like in the back of one of my drawers. And I was like, oh my god, this is pretty bad when like you forget you have products. So um, I don't want to give anybody a used product. So I'm going to keep both of those. Okay, guys, so I ended up keeping all of my eyeshadow primers. You know what? I might get rid of this Urban Decay. It's so old and it did smell really bad. I might just need to like throw it in the trash. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the Urban Decay. So I have just my normal everyday eyeshadow primer and then my Too Faced glitter glue. I actually also have a MAC paint pot somewhere. I think it's in here. Yeah. Here's my MAC, ooh, my MAC paint pot. 
in the color Painterly. So I guess this is technically an eyeshadow base as well. So I have two eyeshadow bases and then my Too Faced Glitter Glue. So those are my eyeshadow bases. Then as far as face primers go, I kind of categorize the Hourglass and the Laor like in the same kind of what they do. They're more just like, I don't, ugh. They're like, they just make your skin look better. Like they kind of smooth out the fine lines. They provide a really nice base for makeup. They make your makeup apply flawlessly. So these are kind of the same type of product. Yeah, I have multiples of them, but the same kind of type of product. So these I usually put on top of a pore filler primer. So I'll start with a pore filler primer and then I'll put these on top of it. So anyway, so I'm gonna keep all of those. So those are my like perfecting primers, we'll call them. Hydrating primers, I have one of them. Smoothing primer, I have one of by CoverGirl. I have two, three pore fillers. This one's actually almost gone, so I'll have two of those left. I keep looking at this and I, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one and actually keep the Too Faced one. Just because I do like this one. I've used this one and I like kinda sorta like it. I don't think I've given it a fair chance. I've had this forever and I have never used it, so. Yeah, so oil control primer, smoothing primer, pore filling primers, illuminating primer, and then under eye primer. So I think I kind of left myself with a good combination of things. Um, this is good, I feel good about this. So those are the primers I'm gonna keep. And then the primers I'm getting rid of are my, those two illuminating primers, these, oops, pull them down, you can't see. Um, illuminating primers, mix-in drops, this is a pore filler, a smoother, an oil control, eyeshadow base, and then a hydrating one. So yeah, gosh, this was a mess. This is my first declutter video, guys, so please excuse my, like, scatterbrained and excuse Lily snoring in the background. She's sitting, like, right behind me, like, right behind me over here, so she's snoring. Um... But yeah, if you guys like these kinds of videos, stay tuned because next I'm going to do foundations, then I'm going to do powders, then I'm going to do concealers. I'm going to start with like all the face stuff first and then move on to like eyes and cheeks and all of that. So yeah, if you like these kinds of videos, I'm going to make a playlist. Please stick around. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you next time. I have one more primer, guys, that I just found as I was pulling out my foundations. I know, embarrassing, right? The CoverGirl Lid Lockup. I'm actually going to keep this because this is a really good drugstore alternative when I do drugstore tutorials. So I am going to keep this. It's very similar to the NARS. It's just a drugstore alternative. So keeping that one also. Okay, guys, I actually found two more primers. I was digging out all my blushes, and these were hiding in the blush drawer. So... Um, the first one is the Amazing Cosmetics Eye Primer. I actually have not had a chance to try this yet, so I do want to give it a chance, give it a go. I did get this in PR, and I just haven't had a chance to really test it out. It does have a really colorful base, which makes me kind of question it, but I'm going to keep that. I only have the two eye primers that I'm keeping anyways. Lily, stop with the squeaking, baby. Um, actually, I have three. I have the CoverGirl the NARS and the glitter glue so and the MAC paint pot but I am gonna keep this one I'm just gonna take it out of the box and then the other one is the NYX shine control facial primer I don't have any I mean this is kind of like this reminds me of the hourglass um, but I remember not really liking this that much I'm gonna actually declutter this so that's going and this is staying